Welcome back, viewers. Um, Zero Gear Plus here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Zero Gear's Misadventures. So, um, since last time, uh, we got into the Tower of Babel, and I'm in this room. I healed up because in this chest, it has m equipment in it that I want. And the encounter rate just turned into Final Fantasy II. You know what? You gotta be kidding me. I just healed up. They love doing this to me, viewers. Yeah, whenever you're in these stupid small rooms that have a chest or no chest in them, the encounter rate just turns into, like, Final Fantasy II, the um, Japanese import for the NES. It's just everywhere you go, it's like every two steps, you're in a fight. And I really don't like that. That just wasted a moment of my time. Oh, now I have to heal up again. I hate this game sometimes. Yeah, and I'm out of MP now. Thanks. Stupid things. Oh, darn it. I knew I needed potions. Darn it. Yeah, that'll have to do. Um, I may have to, um, use an ether on Rydia, but I'll worry about that once I open this chest. And it has monsters. Just take for granted that any mon- that any chest that's by itself is gonna have monsters in it. Just assume. Like in a room like this, any chest is gonna have monsters in it. Now what's in here? A stone golem! Or a stone man, as they say. Go Jin, all the way. Not only will the, the golem, or stone man, whatever you want to say, um, not only will it be affected because um, it's a rock, it will crumble under Earth-type circumstances, like an earthquake, which Titan does, um, but also, I didn't know this until a couple years of playing this, um, what are they? Robots? Like that alerter back there are also weak to Titan or Earth elemental spells. I didn't know that until recently, but. What? You gotta be kidding. Never once has that alerter taken one damage from a Titan spell. Well, that's annoying. I just wasted 40 MP. And I don't think I have enough left to um, use Shiva. Oh, just enough to use Ice 2, though, which should one-shot this guy. It definitely will, now that it just took a thousand from Kane. Wow, what the heck? I'm glad I saved MP, but when does that happen? Wow, that was really strange. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a second to heal up. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, or not welcome back, uh, I'm back, I guess. Um, I healed up, and, uh, let's continue. We're in another room here. I didn't even take, get a chance to look at what I got from that thing. Okay, yeah, that'll co definitely come in handy here. Um, get this, uh, blizzard spear for, um, Kane there. I put the, um, dwarf axe on Cecil. Just because. Monsters? I always thought that there was something better about it, and apparently, in this version of the game, it lowers your attack power, but like, the advanced version and the DS version, it gives, it's like 20 attack stronger. I don't understand. But anyway, I have Kane jump, just like always. I also, um, oh god, Chimera. Oh, uh, what do I want to do? Indra. Chimeras are nasty in this game. Yeah, case in point. I think they, like, absorb fire or something. I don't even know if they have any elemental weaknesses. Yeah, see, they in absorb just about everything magic.
guess we're gonna have to work with old, good old-fashioned fisticuffs for this fight. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that. Yeah, apparently you throw the dwarf axe. I never knew that. Oh, that's right. It's advantages. Okay. Because I haven't used it in forever. Yeah, with the dwarf axe, because you throw it, you deal just as much damage from the back row as you do in the front. So if I wanted to, I could put Cecil in the back and have Yang and um, Kane there front lined. Yeah, I think that was the first time that they tried working with boomerang weapons. Yeah, I think this is the first Final Fantasy game that we started incorporating boomerang type weapons. And, um, but that doesn't matter now. I'm gonna have to keep him in the front because we got the Ice Brand Sword! Until mid game, until late game, this is by far my favorite elemental brand weapon. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit. Ah, oh, forget that. I'm gonna use Rosa. Yeah, that should be enough. Now, it's now when I'm actually recording and filming after playing this game and beating it like 30 times that I n that I regret not buying anything back at um Dwarf Castle there. Get the cat claw. I forget what the cat claw does. It either I think it puts enemies to sleep, I'm not sure. But as long as I have the charm claw, I'm happy. Or What's the other claw in this game? There's another one. In fact, it was back at the Tower of Zot and I neglected to get it. I forget what it's called. Um, yeah, I honestly don't remember. That's strange. Fell asleep, hey! That's awesome. Um, and for that, I'm gonna let Kane jump on it and one shot it before anything bad happens because if you deal enough damage to those eggs um they hatch and then you get a much stronger monster which i really don't want to deal with black lizards it's not gonna bother um i forgot do i want to go around do i don't want to go around i think usually when i have a gut feeling in this game it's the right direction just kind of wait it out let kane jump on it I'd have Yang attack it again, but the odds of it falling asleep and being charmed again are probably none now. That tends to happen sometimes. Yep, wanted to go this way. Oh, hey. Treasure chest. You know what? Now that I think about it, I may have wanted to go the other way. Or did I? I don't think I did. And save spot here. Thank God. Tent. That's all I should need. Yep, that's all I needed. I'll save here because this place is starting to bother me. <laughs> And let's continue before I meet my time and we're somewhere stupid. And this is when I wish this was Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, where you have the jump ability. I could just jump this and be right there. But no, that's okay though. I need this stuff anyway. Like this chest that's full of monsters! Another alerter. Let's jump it. Your main concern in these things are to take out the alerters first. Oh, a Naga. Don't worry about them. Yeah, take out the alerters first, because if you kill whatever they summon... That's essentially what they're doing, at least. If you kill whatever they call for it to kill you, um... They'll just call another one. And Nagas, there's nothing too special about them. I don't think. I should have aimed. 
That's okay. Won't be sticking around that long. And what did we get from this chest? An ice shield! Always useful. Now this is when, um, not necessarily breaking, but you put on ice armor with a fire shield or an ice shield with fire armor, you're pretty much well guarded against most elemental stuff. Problem is, the ice armor is much better for your health though. And I mean like, it raises your defense quite a bit. In contrast to the fire armor at least. Go on here, nothing. Yeah, they do that sometimes. And I've almost exceeded my time. Um, so I'll s stop here, and um, I'll meet you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Zero Gears Misadventures. I'm signing off. Have a good day.